Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Swipe up, subscribe. Nah, I feel like it's how you gotta start every video, but it's DJ Hella Yella, and I'm here to tell you how I had the longest week, and it's only Friday today. I just took my first shower since Sunday. Today is Friday, and this is how I survived the 2021 Texas freeze slash blackout slash water outage. Now, let me take it back to Sunday night. Everything's all good. You know, it was Valentine's Day, you know, eating good, whatever, chilling. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm a DJ. I stay up late. I uh, might have been on the game. I don't remember exactly what I was doing, but it's snowing. It's cold. 2 o'clock, lights go out. I'm like, damn, whatever. I'm going to just go to sleep. Still, the heat was running. It's still warm. Wake up in the morning. Lights still out. Get on Twitter. Get on uh, Google. Try to see what's going on. I still really don't understand how this stuff works. I'm going to try not to cuss in this video, but I'm going to try to explain what I understood. United States, everybody got power. Everybody shares, but we're in Texas. So to avoid the federal regulation, Texas has its own power source. We got them big turbines and big fans that spin. They make the energy. They frozen. We don't have the energy. And since we're independent, we can't borrow energy from like Oklahoma, Louisiana, somebody like right next to us to get some more power. So to avoid running out of power for months, they put us on a rolling blackout schedule. I don't understand what's going on in the news. <laughs> what was supposed to happen was 2 a.m. my lights go out somebody else still got lights maybe in like three four hours their lights go out my lights come back on that's just how we gonna conserve energy till i don't know the bands unfreeze or whatever i like i said i still don't understand what's going on I'm trying to thug it out sunday time keeps going by it's getting colder and colder the temperature's going down the snow is going up in the house it's my girl and my daughter my daughter's almost two so she's almost at that terrible two stage she ain't got no TV. She ain't got no light. She's getting like super fussy, which is making my girl super fussy. So we thinking like, mm, I'm gonna try to thug it out. It's Monday. It's the afternoon. Lights been out for about 12 hours. It's getting a little bit cold. Not too bad. I could, fortunately I found out I could still light my gas grill so we could warm up some food. I'm warming up like stuff that would go in the microwave, like chicken nuggets for my daughter, like on the stove top, doing what we can do, making it work. It gets cold, phones, iPads start dying. So we let the garage up. Just sit in the car for a little while to just get warm and charge the phones. Thinking, you know, power's gonna be back soon. Wrong. Supposed to be on a rolling blackout. The rolling blackout just never came back. And as the sun goes down, it's getting colder and colder. I'm like, all right, let's make a move before the sun go down. It's gonna get really cold. Try to book hotels. Nothing within like a 40 mile radius is open. And remember, it's ice on the road. So I ain't trying to drive far. I'm from Texas. I don't. I don't drive in the snow. I ain't got no snow chains. We ain't got no salt trucks. We ain't got no snow plows out there. It's just get it how you live. So nothing. It's one Ramada, Ramada in South Austin. I live on the north side. There's one Ramada in South Austin charging $9.99 a night. They said big steppers only. And I'd be damned if I paid $9.99 for a Ramada. So I call my boy uh, DJ Don Tizzle, one of my real close friends. He stay on a regular drive. He stay like 15, 20 minutes from me, North Austin, Liberty Hill. He was like, yeah, I got power. Pull up, man. Y'all good. Come stay at the crib, guest room. Whoop de whoop woo. We try to pack. Like like I said, like my daughter is like getting real fussy. She's being like a little mini a-hole at this time. I love her to death, but you know, kids get fussy. So we trying to get her out of here, trying to pack bags, get whatever we need. We think it's gonna be like you know it'll come back tomorrow pack a light bag a little quick spin the night bag you know how that go i'm a texan i don't own any timberland boots or whatever y'all up north people use to walk in the snow and the first shoe i saw was like i had some jordan one spider-man's right by the door so i'm like whatever i'm gonna just throw these on i ain't got nothing else <sighs> bad idea i wasn't worried about the shoe because you know if it's clean snow it's just like water it's not gonna mess the shoe up but as far as slip and sliding and wet socks and all that, out of there. I recorded this little video of me walking through the snow because, like, like I said, again, I'm a Texan. This don't happen. We got about 
six, seven inches of snow. I don't know about mm, that much. I don't know how much snow it is. I'm a Texan. I don't do snow. This is new. We get snow for like two days. We get ice. It don't never stick, but this time it's stuck. I got Jordan 1's on. I'm slipping and sliding. I'm, my driveway's on the slant. All bad. I recorded a video. <laughs> it's just me walking in the snow, thinking nothing of it. Like, I'm just showing y'all, like, I'm Texan. I don't own boots, so this is how I get down. Nice Kicks, real big sneaker blog, sneaker page, reposted it. And they was trying to, it was so weird in the comments. Like, weirdos, like, oh, he, he just doing this for clout. Why is he walking in the snow? He could have walked right there. What kind of Texan doesn't own cowboy boots? Like, they really think, like, we all like ride horses to work and wear 10 gallon hats and stuff like that but comment section super weird also like i said i'm a texan that don't really get cold here for that long i got one big jacket i got it right here this is the biggest jacket i own shout out to Surat. but it's like a normal le a letterman jacket like this is this is all i got this is the biggest jacket i got i wear this whole like once or twice a year that's about it it's the biggest jacket i got so I'm throwing on hoodies, layers, throw some little Under Armour up under my sweats, all that. Boom. We out to um, my bro Dante house. Like like I said, on a regular day, it's like a 15, 20 minute drive. But in this snow, ice, darkness, all that, it's, it take like 45 minutes to an hour. Plus we going to stop and like pick up snacks. I don't want to be like eating up all my bro snacks when I get to his crib. So we try to get a little something, something thinking, you know, it's Monday. We'll be back at the crib tomorrow. Now we're at day two of the blackout. This is Tuesday. We also, me and Don, Don Tizzle also have a mutual friend who lights us out and he drives an Impala. So he was trying to back out the driveway and just couldn't get nowhere. We go on a rescue mission to go get him, his girl, and his daughter out the crib. They stay on a regular non-icy drive day, like a good 25 minutes away from where we were. Like I said, in this Texas snow, ice, we don't we don't know how to drive and all that. So it takes about an hour to get there. We scoop them up, bring them back out to the crib we all staying at. So now it's three adults, wait, three three female adults, three male adults, and four little girls between the ages of five and almost two. Like I said, it's like a big ass sleepover. We on rolling blackout schedules. You never know when the lights are going to go out because we don't know what time the blackout is supposed to happen. They just know that it's coming. So warm up your food while you can. Do whatever. Fortunately, the gas grill still works. You just have to light it. Water goes out. So you never know when the light's going out. Never know. Just warm up your food now. Do whatever you got to do. Charge your phone. So guys we go out we got to get groceries we like we need food everybody got to eat we go to heb if y'all don't know heb is the best grocery store ever if you're not in texas i'm i feel sorry for you or if you're in dallas i feel sorry for you because y'all don't got heb up there so it's a long 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 line we pull up i'm like damn like all the times people call me to like get them out the line at the club i'm like damn who can i call to let me get through this line at the damn heb out of there so finally, we just thug it out, get in the line. They have not the big, like, regular shopping basket you would see. It's like a half-size one. It's like a double-decker. So it's about this big on top, this big on the bottom. They say, we only got small baskets, and you can't take them out to the store. Basically, you can get whatever you can fit in the basket and carry out to keep people from just, like, going overboard, getting all the toilet paper, getting all the water, because y'all seeing how it happened at the beginning of COVID. Everybody went crazy. So thankfully... Everybody in the store was pretty cool. We got some of those, uh, we got two of those big, like, water cooler gallons of, what, five gallon things of water you put, like, in the office of the water cooler, a little bit of frozen food. Got what we could just to last, like, a day or two. So, shout out to HEB for being efficient. HEB, through the quarantine, COVID, and the Texas freeze, blackout, water outage has been way more efficient than our own government, but that's another story. Now that we realize, we got some groceries, we realize, okay, this might not end for a while. I got, like, cameras and stuff connected in my house, so I could check that to see if the internet connector, the power's back on. So I'm, I'm watching that from where I'm staying. Still nothing. So we decide, okay, this might be a while. We need to go home, like, get some more food, drip the water faucets, make sure, like, the pipes don't bust, do all the cold weather stuff that we never do in Texas. Luckily, I go to... Uh, uh, my other closet and find some foam posits that is the best snowshoe as far as tennis shoes go if you don't have boots like the foam posits 
plastic up the sides, can't get no water in. Cause up until this, I've been like, like I, like I showed in the video, in the J's, socks wet, all bad. But the foams, foams came through tough. Shout out to Penny. We're on day two of the blackout. Like I said, we have no water. So you might wonder, uh, how are y'all flushing the toilets with all these people in the house? What we have to do is go outside, scoop snow, put it on the burners on the stove, melt it, wait for that to cool down, pour it in the back of the toilet, then you can flush that. But all the guys in the house, we just go pee outside like some dogs because that's way easier than waiting on some water to pour in the back of the toilet. And if you, like, we got buckets, like big buckets, probably like three-gallon buckets we get in snow and ice once you melt all that down we using all four burners faux pot it take a lot to be able to flush one toilet we scooping snow pouring it in the bathtub just like filling up the bathtub with snow wait for that to melt pour that in the toilet it's a struggle i know some people to avoid doing all that was really just out here pooping in plastic bags just to avoid that struggle but we on the other hand rather just go through the water struggle before we was pooping in plastic bags so after we got the groceries we could get, the water we could get, we take it back to the crib and where we all stand, half of the stuff we just put outside in a cooler in the snow because like we don't got that much fridge space for all these people, all this food. Throw it outside. It's colder outside than it is in the fridge. So as time goes on, we in the house chilling, doing whatever. We uh we only have, like he lives so far out, we only have signal when the Wi-Fi is on. I'm, I'm scraping, scraping by on like one bar Depending on where I'm at in the house, if I'm by a window, everybody else were uh, relying on the Wi-Fi for a phone signal, internet signal, just to be able to check what's going on. So when the power goes out on these rolling blackouts for a few hours, no phone, back to the old school, playing Uno, card games, BS, whatever, just, you know, be thugging it out like it's the 80s, no TV, no internet, none of that. One thing I can say throughout this whole experience, the whole week long, not just one day, Texans were very friendly and helpful. Like people stuck in intersections, people just hopping out, pushing their car, making sure they got to where they need to go. I saw somebody stuck, hop out, push them real quick. Thankfully, I never got stuck, but I didn't really drive nowhere either. I kind of stayed put. People in the grocery stores weren't going crazy, like hoarding, like hella water, or hella toilet paper, none of that. People were pretty nice helping people navigate through the snow because we don't know how to walk on snow, ice under the snow, all that. So shout out to Texans for being real cool about this because it could have went very bad, like way worse than what it already was. So here we are still on the rolling blackout schedule. Throughout this whole time of rolling blackouts, I, as I check my phone, like my, my cameras, all that in the house, my power has never come back on this whole time. So thankfully where I'm staying, we actually have at least the rolling blackouts. We got a little bit of power. We could only get what, a little bit of what we can. So Wednesday, we decide, all right, we need to make a store run. We need like a few little things here and there. More water, of course, because we're running through water to flush the toilets, cook food, drink, all of that real fast. <laughs> My boy Don Tizzle has a four-wheeler because he lives pretty far out. Besides like his neighborhood, it's nothing else out there. It's just like pretty much country. Me, him, and our friend Vic, we hop in the four-wheeler. It's still cold. It's below freezing. But we figured the four-wheeler, because a lot of roads are closed, we figured the four-wheeler, we can get through like those closed roads to get to the store faster. This dude is so extra. He got a system in his four-wheeler. He got a screen in the four-wheeler, like super extra. <laughs> we riding this cold, uh, you know, the wind hitting you different when you're on that four-wheeler. We made like a, a four-wheeler trip. I don't know how far we went, but it was about a 15-minute ride because we got through some closed roads, some fields, just to go to the store to get water and extra stuff. We get to the store, all the stores are closed. Yeah, it was fun riding a four-wheeler, but it was a complete waste of time. So after that failed mission, we decided to go ahead and hop in the SUV and go to the real store, which is a whole nother task in itself. Like I said, it's Wednesday, no water. We still haven't showered. So luckily, I find some big-ass baby wipes at the store and got to go ahead and bite the bullet and take that whole bath because... You know, we all been there before. A little bit of water in the water bottle, big baby wipe. That's all That's all we can do for now. Got to get it how you live. So now we're on Thursday, day four. Still no power in my house. Where I'm staying at a friend's house, three male adults, three female adults, four small children. And I forgot, two dogs also. So we really have a full house. 
keep checking the cameras. I'm like, oh, my powers came back on. And also the other friend staying there, his power came back on. So we're like, cool, we're going to go out, you know, go check on our house and see if everything's good. Never in my life did I imagine growing up in Texas, living in Texas, that I would be in the driveway with a sledgehammer pounding ice to make a walkway to the car. Like I'm out here like with a sledgehammer, like really getting it in, like obliques out of there, back out of there, slamming on the ice in the driveway, just trying to make a safe walkway to the car because everything wet, everything slippery. I still ain't got no boots. I'm out here in some foam still. Then I'm out here shoveling snow like, what is life? Like, never in my Texas-ass life did I think I would be out here with a sledgehammer trying to make a walkway to my car. The things that you don't envision yourself doing as a Texan. So I go check my crib. Uh, power's back on. Still no water. Pipes are good. That was the main thing I was worried about was if the pipes busted or not. But I left everything dripping. Cool, cool. We go to check on our other friend's house to see if he's good. Take the shovel. Shovel his car out so he can get out the driveway and take his car back to where we're all staying. He goes in his house to check his water, make sure everything's good, grab some more clothes, do whatever he got to do. So as, <laughs> so as we're killing time, I'm just outside. This never happens. So I was like, I'm going to be out here. I'm going to try to build a snowman. <laughs> At this point, it's rained on top of the snow, like freezing rain. So it's a sheet of ice on top of the snow. And to get to like the snow that you can like mold, you have to like step on whatever break the ice on top then you can grab the snow up in the bottom on tv building the snowmans look real easy like you always see like cartoons or whatever on tv like they pick up a snowball and roll it and as they roll it it just gets bigger whatever i'm just thinking like you know i'm gonna, I'm gonna build a little big ball at the bottom the second ball top ball grab some twigs boom boom arms space all that <laughs> that ain't how it worked <laughs> so after all of that we make sure the house is good. We we're like, all right, it's safe to go home because my little girl, she's just not, she's not used to the change. She used to being at home because, you know, we're still on quarantine, so she don't really go nowhere. She's getting fussy. It was like, all right, let's just take her back home. We have power where we're staying. We don't have water. So we're pretty much in the same boat. Plus, you know, you don't ever want to intrude on people's space. I know we all going through something uncomfortable. So like, all right, let me get up out their hair. Let them get back to as normal as possible at their crib. So as we're going out to get more make sure we can get more food and stuff to get enough to go home i need like more buckets in my crib so i could bring in ice from outside snow do the same thing flush the toilet shout out to walmart i finally got some boots <laughs> they had some generic timberlands i was like this close to buying the generic timberlands because i'm just keep them this time in case this ever happens again i'm gonna just keep them in the tuck somewhere but got me some work boots boom so no more slipping well still slipping and sliding on the ice but no more wet socks much much easier and i'm gonna keep these boots for <laughs> whenever this happens again so now i own one pair of boots i ain't gonna be walking outside in my jays or my phones or none of that in the snow or rain or whatever it is friday day five with no water after four days of either no power or rolling blackouts and a lot of people are, have still been without power this is Friday. I'm recording this after the blackout began on Sunday. Some people are still without power, still without water. I got a little bit of water pressure and enough to trickle out to take my first shower on Friday since the blackout began on Sunday. At this point, the grocery stores are out of there completely, like wherever. Like, good luck finding water, good luck finding anything perishable, cold, freezer. It's not so much that the people panicked and like are panic buying, but after your power, myself included, my power being out for three, four days, the whole fridge out of there. So we had to throw out everything. We got rid of everything in the fridge and had to restock. And throughout this time, the trucks can't get to the grocery stores. So hopefully tomorrow they can re-up because the sun has come out a little bit, but it's still snow outside. Still people without power. Still people without water. I thank God that I had a the chance to get a little bit of water, enough food to last me two, three days. My power's back as I'm recording this video. I just want to shout out to all the frontline workers, the HEB workers, whoever is out there donating meals, donating money, uh, the people that volunteering at the warming shelters, people that took their time to go rescue friends, bring them somewhere, had guests over because you had power and they didn't. 
big, big shout out to my bro DJ Don Tizzle. He was already a first ballot Homeboy Hall of Famer way before this, but he just adding to his resume for the Homeboy Hall of Fame. That's it, man. I survived. I just wanted to show y'all, especially my fellow Texans, that we don't go through this. Like, we don't do snow. It don't happen. And try to get some of y'all Northerners to understand. Y'all saying, oh, Texas can't get through a little bit of snow. We don't have the stuff, the infrastructure y'all got. We don't have the salt trucks, the people clearing the sidewalks, the driveways, the roads. No power, no water, ice, no street lights. Like, this is all, all, all bad. Been all bad all week. And now... It ain't no gas nowhere, so hopefully tomorrow things will get more and more back to normal. And shout out to everybody that was like, yeah, now y'all Texans can finally go inside because, you know, <laughs> we've been outside wilding like COVID don't exist. I hate to say it, but if it does continue to get back to regular February in Texas, which is like 70 degrees any day, it's about to be lit outside this weekend. But that's it. I'm DJ Hella Yellow. I just wanted to like show y'all some videos and just document because I'm gonna look back at this in a few years and be like, damn, y'all remember the great blackout of 2021? And I'm gonna be able to show this video to whoever and show y'all what the F went on. And shout out to my dog Chino. He's gonna edit this video up for me. If y'all need videos, holla at him. He could put all his info because he about to edit this. He could put all his info in here because that's my dog. Holla at him. DJ Hella Yella, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you're still watching, shout out to you. And I'm out.